Hi guys, just here real quick to share with you a um, revelation I kind of got. So, hold on a minute. So I ended up realizing that basically that necklace that I had, I was really sad and I had to sell it back. Well, I don't get refunded for a full week for that. So in and of itself, it didn't work out to the point right away where I wanted it to work out right away. So then I started thinking and I was just like, oh my gosh, can I go and get it back? La la, la I really, really, really like it. And then that night I was really depressed and stuff about it because it was one of my favorite articles of jewelry I've ever owned. So anyways, started sitting there in my bed the other night and I started thinking, you know what? What happens if this place ended up catching fire and all that I have went away? I wouldn't have that necklace. Or... When I die, if and when, I can't take that with me. So, I was putting more value on the fact that it was an item and it was getting me, giving me joy. When in reality, it's just an item. Yes, it activated my energy field. Yes, it had other sentimental value or whatever. But to be honest, yes, it did make me happy. But... I can't take that back with me. If I die tomorrow, I'll get hit by a car or an accident happens or something. I'm not going to have that. So my point being is we're putting too much value on items, per se. When times get rough, we have to go and think down to the nitty gritty. So what I was saying is, you know what? I needed the money. Yes, I liked the item. And yes... It was a nice piece to have if I had all the money in the world and I didn't have to worry about anything and I could show it off and you know it's a good it it's a good um sorry it's a good shield for negativity the, but to be honest my body is a living thing and when you come down to it I get this you need to put food and substance in your body in order to survive sometimes you need those Sorry, I'm doing a thieves cough drop. Sometimes you need those, that income to generate for life-giving medicine. Like if you're a diabetic and you need insulin. So, here I am going, oh my gosh, I don't want to not have this. And it's just, you know, it's sitting on me. It's not really doing anything. I was, and then I started thinking I was perfectly fine before I had it. Yes, it kind of activated me spiritually and emotionally because it was a high vibrational stone. But the fact is that maybe the universe was sending it to me just for me to wake up and be like, this is a lesson. And can you trust that sending that back and giving that back will give you the insight to realize you were putting too much faith in an item. When you need to put faith in yourself. In your survival on this planet. In looking at the positive and everything and, and being able to as the Buddhists would say live with less so I sat here and I started thinking you know what that's what it is we're so caught up in wanting this item and that item and then we compile all this other stuff and like we get our kids gifts and then they only play with them for a week or whatever and then they're like okay I want the newest greatest best thing and then their attentions go to something else and that's the way the culture is right now. And then when we, if we get back to, no, we're just going to live simply. And those are the people that you normally see that are the happiest. Because they don't have all this other clutter, which is blocking the energy flow, if you want to go in the feng shui and all that, in the actual building. And it's just easier. You don't have to worry about, I mean, for one, you don't have to dust a whole bunch of stuff. And, and you're like, if you don't have a lot of stuff, you're just like, okay, that's cool. So, just having the necessities and things like that and, and stuff that's going to help you personally, your physical being, your physical stuff and stuff like that. And, like, 
possibly like a computer or technology or something like that stuff that you like actually cannot live without of because it's going to be generating income or it's going to be giving you like a ride to your income or you know it's providing you um a way to get your income things like that that's good but then if you like i have a ton of stuffed animals that are sitting at my grandma's house that i should probably get rid of and give to somebody who's going to use it or going to need it it's kind of like that that toy story thing whereas instead of just throwing the item out or whatever you're not using the item anymore so give it to somebody who will really generate you know benefit from it like the little girl when andy gave it to the little girl i forgot the girl's name and i haven't been following it anyway that's my point my point being is this is showing me that I'm putting too much of my ego center and my selflessness, or not my selflessness, my selfishness, my I'm too selfish, on an item because I put too much um, value on it. Like, I was putting it, like, way up here, and it didn't need to be way up there. I just assumed that on there because I got a lot of my energy from it and I, I was happy from it because it was one of the only things that actually made me happy for a while and I was like everybody's like oh you owe yourself to go and buy this and you got your taxes in you did a good job you were working a full-time job blah, blah. excuse me and they're like and then I'm like okay yeah you're right but what's the truth the truth is all these things we buy once we're gone from this earth out of physical form we're not going to use them. They're going to be sold. They're going to be repurposed. They're going to be given to somebody else in a sale, in an estate sale or something else. So whether or not you give it away right then when you're past and your relatives give away it in an estate sale or something, or if you choose to do it now so you can live more simply, it doesn't matter. It's going to eventually leave. So maybe my point was maybe get like five to ten items that you truly truly get a lot of joy out of stick with those and then start purging getting rid of things so that more positive things can come in this is what i'm gonna have to do because i'm gonna be moving again i think so i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna start to get rid of a lot of stuff now me it's kind of hard because i have a hoarding tendency so i collect things thinking i'm gonna use them later and i've been noticing it's a pattern throughout the years so I used to, it started when I was in art school because I'm like, okay, I'll use this for an art project and we always save something and I actually ended up using it down the line for an art project. Now I'm not into that right now. I can always get back into it, but I don't have the art supplies or anything right now to do it. So in the meantime, for instance, I have a crystal tumbler. So I bought it at a gem show, gem show two years ago. Didn't realize... It didn't have the abrasion fluid or anything. And you need the abrasion fluid or the abrasion stones or whatever to do that. And it's a longer process than I thought. I thought I could just put it in the thing and have it the next day. So I could sell more upscale crystals. Well, because I wasn't thinking and I didn't have enough money to get the other. And it was just a one thing. And they didn't tell me when they sold to me that, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, sure. This has got everything in it. And I assumed that it did. It didn't. And so they kind of, like, lied to me. So I went back, and I asked them for the abrasion stuff, and they didn't have it. They didn't sell it. They said, get it from this website for this person. So my point is, I don't have that. I've got this tumbler that I can't use. So I'm like, you know what? Well, it's been sitting here for two years. So if somebody out there wants it, message me. I'm free to, you know, sell it to you for you know less than what i bought it for so i mean it's a nice decent one i'll take the pictures and stuff but it's just sitting there collecting dust so it's causing me more clutter which is then putting down the vibration of the energy in the room which is then coming into my aura and causing me to not feel so good because there's too much stuff that i'm like oh my god i'm not using this if you're using everything that you have and you're getting more uh, fun out of it and things like that that's fine that's perfect if you're not, if it's just sitting there and it's not doing anything, get rid of it. Or at least donate it to somebody who will get use out of it. So, alright, I just want to come on here and say that was a good um, revelation that I was thinking in my head and all that stuff. And this is the reason why certain things come into our lives so we can sit there, think about why this situation happened, and turn it around and be like, this is the lesson it's showing me. And by me learning this lesson, I'm able to release 
control of things and be more at peace with myself. And the more I understand to do this and the more I get used to it, the more energy will flow back into my life and give me tenfold what I left or what I gave away. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, enjoy your day. And I just thought this would be a cute little tidbit for you to understand and uh, interesting stuff. All right. Love, light, namaste. Enjoy your day. Love, light, blessings. Bye.